Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm glad you could join me today. Today we've got a very popular series that we're going to be talking about today. It's been remastered as you probably guessed. This is about the six million dollar man. It's going to kind of be a two-part review. We're going to focus on this one simply about the six million dollar man, chat a little bit about the bionic woman, which as most of you are probably aware of, they were tied together. Um, so both of the series would have crossover episodes and things like that. So this this specific review we're going to focus mostly on just the six million dollar man the remastered blu-ray set which is what we have right here and this is the actual uh, blu-ray set that was released in Germany. Um, so we're going back to Germany here for this review. Amazon dot de through germany is where you can get this um, i'll post a link uh, below um, that way if anyone wants to go on there they can actually get it through there um, this has been completely remastered in 1080p hd um, they did dts 2.0 for the sound um, which is a big upgrade over what the dvds had it sounds way cleaner crisper um, the set itself um, is very nice and i'll break it down for you here in just a few minutes i want to make sure i get this out there i do suggest you buy both sets um, at the same time and, and you might be asking yourself well why do I need both because the show's tied together the way they released these um, is that without one or the other you're gonna miss some of the episodes there's gonna be like a one part and then another part that continues in Bionic Woman um, so you'll watch one part of the episode will end on a cliffhanger and then the next part will continue in Bionic Woman I do suggest them being bought together that's why I'm doing both of these reviews um, and I'm going to post a link to both um, reviews down below as well. That way, once you finish one, you can go and watch the other review um, for what you would have to get the complete series. I really suggest if you're a fan of the series, um, it's a very popular series. It was well done. Um, if you're a fan of the series, you're going to want both of these anyways. Otherwise, you're only getting maybe 75% of one of the story and 75% of the other story. Without both together, you're not getting 100% of both um, because they have crossover episodes in between, which was in the time in the 70s it was very unheard of to have something like that we're going to focus right now on uh the six million dollar man um and then we'll later on i'll talk about uh, the bionic woman on another re interview review for it um but for this review we're going on six million dollar man a great set uh i did get it I, it was shipped to me from Germany, Amazon.de from Germany. Uh, didn't have any issues when I got it. It came uh, in this box, as you'll see here. This is just a little leaflet that kind of goes over the outside telling you a little bit about the series. Uh, but I'm going to show you here just how it kind of comes. It comes in this box. And inside is housed the actual Blu-ray cases and things. But the actual box itself is very nice. Uh, it is in German, a lot of the writing on it. Uh, again, die complete series, the complete series. But uh, this is the only way it's been released completely remastered. The DVDs don't hold a candle to this. Um, the actual remaster they did on this is beautiful. The colors pop, very sharp and crisp. The sound sounds a whole lot better. Um, it's not fuzzy like the DVDs were, and um, it's a very nice set. Lee Majors, the actor behind Six Million Dollar Man, actually recommended this box set um, because of the quality that um, has been done behind this and the remaster. Um, it's definitely one of those things that even the actor himself who played the Six Million Dollar Man, um, it hasn't been released anywhere else. So the nice thing is, is with this set, uh, the remaster and everything that they did on it, once you own it, you can watch it in any Blu-ray player, but that is a big deal with these sets. A lot of people are concerned that they're going to spend the money for it, import it, have it sh shipped to the U.S. from Amazon, and then all of a sudden, hey, I can't play it. You can play it in any Blu-ray set, so another great set for you to get and own and collect, because guess what? You can play it in any any Blu-ray player you want. Um, the other big thing about this is, is when you are on Amazon.de, for example, and you're buying, I have had some questions about um, the money transfer. So all you have to do is Amazon does it for you. When you go in there, just click US dollars and it'll it'll change the currency to US dollars when you get to your cart. So you can see exactly what you're paying in US dollars for it because then it's very easy to buy. So instead of you wondering, hey, is this going to be $200 after the transfer and everything, it tells you everything. They include all your fees. So that way when it goes through your bank, it just goes through as US dollars. So now let's break into this here a little bit more. Now when you open it up, the first thing you're going to see here is, is you're going to get a manual. Uh, this is actually a booklet they put in here. So that way you actually get like the episode titles and things like that on it. Even though a lot of it, the outside obviously here is in English, which is very nice because again, you can buy it anywhere in the world. 
um, and this will play in any Blu-ray player. Um, and that's a big thing with both sets. Doesn't matter whether you're getting the Bionic Woman or you're getting the $6 million Man. These remastered $6 million Man Blu-ray set, you can play it anywhere. Any Blu-ray player you have, you don't need a special uh, Blu-ray player. It doesn't have to be one that's unlocked or region free. Nice thing about this set is, is you buy it, you put it in your Blu-ray player, you're good to go. Um, the only thing you need to do again, and I'm gonna give you a little uh, tip right here, the remote again. You're gonna wanna click on your subtitles and change your language. So just click on your subtitles, change your language, and you're good to go. On the main menu, I'll post a little picture here uh, for you here, um, just kind of showing the main menus on a couple of the discs for the $6 million man. On these discs themselves, you'll see there that um, on the bottom it gives you an option for English or for German, um, douche. Um, you can just click it right there before you even start the episodes and it'll play in English just as normal. Uh, so it's nice because nothing's been changed on it. You just click which language you want. Uh, it'll play it um, in English perfectly fine. Um, subtitles won't be on the screen, nothing. Um, the only difference you're going to notice between this set and the American DVD set um, other than obviously the upgrade and all that, we're just talking about the actual episodes themselves. Some of the episodes in on the Germany set here, the Blu-ray remastered set, is that has been cut down the episodes by about a second or two on some of them. Um, and that literally, it's like a second or two. Um, if you played the DVD and you played the same episode on the Blu-ray, some of them have just, you'll notice that it's a second shorter um, or two seconds. It, you really won't notice it. it's not a big deal some people have complained about it saying oh it's a second less getting it remastered i'll give up that that split second that if you didn't know it wasn't there you'd never know it one way or the other i'll give up that split second to get it in uh this high quality the the blu-ray um screenshots here and I'll, I'll post them as i'm talking along the way up here and over here so you guys can see the screenshots as we're going along um crisp clean um, the colors pop in it. Um, it had a very fuzzy and kind of like drowned out look on the DVDs and this does not look that way anymore. It's very crisp and clean, smooth, um, and it doesn't have that. It was almost like grainy or fuzzy look on the DVDs um, and the colors had no saturation in them. Uh, the colors in this really pop again, uh, which is a big, big upgrade. So we're gonna go back to that booklet here for just a minute. Um, so it explains what each of the episodes are as you're going in English. It tells you the titles of them as well, which I appreciated that. For a 1970s TV series, they did a nice job with this. Now, I understand I do wish this was a release in America. I, I know I say that a lot. But, again, I'm thankful because I own it. And you can own it and actually have it to where it doesn't matter that it wasn't released in America this way. You can still get it. So it just kind of goes through, gives you pictures, things along the way of what the series uh, was about articles and things um, about it. But it goes through the whole thing, tells you what's on every disc of this series. And it also, and this was a big bonus, and this is why I was very excited about this set. So I'm gonna post some pictures here for you so you can see this. Um, but it actually talks about the TV films. So later on, years later after the series ended, they came back and did some TV films where it had Bionic Woman and obviously Six Million Dollar Man combined together um, just like they did in some of the episodes but they actually did them as TV films later on and they came back like this one was 1987, 1989, 1994, things like that. They're all included in here remastered um, and that's the first time those have ever been done as well. Um, so that's a huge benefit is, is on the Six Million Dollar Man set not only do you get the entire series itself but they also throw in all of the remastered films that were made years after the series ended. Because um, you got to remember, this series ran in the 70s. I think 1978 or 79 was when the final episodes aired for the series. Um, and that's where then years later they came back and also filmed television films to finish up the series, which was a, a huge thing. I, I love having a complete series, as you all well know. Um, and this is great. They remastered the television films um, and added them to this set. So that makes this set well worth it. We're gonna break down here. These are your cases. Um, comes in nice Blu-ray uh, cases. They are clear, um, but they're, they're in a nice case. Uh, stored nicely inside that box. If you remember when I was showing you at the beginning, it comes in this box. Inside the box is where the Blu-ray cases sit. So they're very nice that they actually uh, sit right inside the box. Box comes open and they're inside. 
um, which I thought was very, very nicely done uh, how the box set comes. So as we were talking about here on your cases, uh, nice cases, you open them up and inside here, you're gonna have your actual discs. Um, and again, the discs were housed nicely. You do only have two discs stacked on top of each other and then underneath is another disc, but they're, they're not touching other than the two up here. Because they're Blu-rays, you don't really have to worry about them being scratched. My set came fine. Uh, no damage to it at all. It was housed nicely in the box. Uh, so that's how you get your cases. Um, back of your case obviously has your titles again listed down it. Um, the back of the case though does not uh, have the titles listed in English. So again, because it's from Germany, it doesn't have the titles listed in English, but it was nice done. Uh, so that's your case for the first set. Here's your second case. Um, these are all housed inside that same uh, cardboard box. Again, this is your case for this one. And again, titles listed on the back of it, but they are in German. So if you want to get the actual titles themselves in English, you're going to want to look at the book or when you get on to your actual uh, episodes as well. When you open this case up, you're gonna find that you have, again, all your discs listed on the insides here. It does tell you on the discs though, um, disc 10, uh, season four, or season five, things like that. Uh, so you do know what they are. And then underneath there's just one disc sitting separately. Um, no scratches, no damage to those either. Cause they're Blu-ray discs, they, they did it extremely well. So back to the series itself, I really did enjoy the series. Um, if you've watched um, Bionic Woman or if you've watched Six Million Dollar Man, you haven't watched both together, I, I extremely suggest you buy them together. That way you have the sets together. You'll find that um, there's a lot of episodes that are on here that are actually, the Bionic Woman episode is basically in it as well. Bigfoot, things like that, the return of Bigfoot, things like that. Those episodes are two-parters that they combine with the Bionic Woman and with Six Million Dollar Man. So that's where I kind of talk about that you want to have both sets. That way you can, as you're going along, watch them in the order they were supposed to be, whether they're in the Six Million Dollar Man set or the Bionic Woman one. Um, some people would say, well, why don't I just buy the Bionic Woman one in the US and so on and so forth. Again, you're getting an upgrade on your Six Million Dollar Man drastically because of the Blu-ray remaster. Um, I'm gonna give you some more screenshots here so you can see these as we're going along. But this, the actual like remaster itself is so worth it. Um, I can't emphasize it enough. I know that I, I sound like a broken record sometimes saying that the remasters are worth it. But if, you're, if you collect these shows and you want them to last for a long time and be able to have it for something that you watch for years to come, I always suggest the remasters if they're available. Um, because you're going to get such high quality out of these that when you watch them, as time goes on, 4K TVs, 8K TVs, doesn't matter what type of TV it is, the quality of the remasters is so far above what was available on DVD that when you play them on your 4K, your 8K TVs, even your 1080p TVs, there's such a big uptick in detail on them that it's kind of hard to think of going back to the DVD after you see it. Um, and I know that my screenshots here that I'm giving you along the way, I really hope they do give you an emphasis and give you a little bit of an idea of what you're going to be looking at and what you're going to be seeing. It is worth it. It's worth it's worth the money for it. So these sets, um, there's always sales on Amazon.de. They'll do like buy two sets, get one free. Um, those are the kind of sales they do. And then they just discount each set. Um, they do them quite often. I'd probably say this year alone, they've had like three of those. So when you see the set costs like $80 and you know US dollars for example uh, it's not that big of a deal because you can get two different sets and then you get the other one free and then they split the discount between all of them so that's where I'm saying if you're gonna buy the set I would suggest buying them together um, definitely that way you have the entire series and this set itself I definitely give it a good score um, again it's a 9.1 um, great set the remaster was phenomenally done I love that not only can you read in the book the titles of each episode because they put those in English there for you, which I think is a big bonus because some of the other books from other sets I bought in other countries did not have that. You couldn't read the titles. Um, you had to go look things up to figure out what it was. Um, otherwise, you just had to play the disc through it. This one you can read the titles, which is nice. Um, the set itself comes, like I said, in a nice packaging. Um, it's kind of an adventure action series. Um, if you haven't ever seen it, it does have some drama in it, but it's kind of hard to explain but it's a little bit of a sci-fi too um it's got you know i don't want to give everything away but obviously it should be obvious that the six million dollar man and bionic woman 
they're bionic. They're basically, most of their body has been replaced by robotic parts. Um, so it plays off of that. As you're going through the series, it goes through um, different things that happen. Maybe something will malfunction while they're trying to save someone and they have to get something replaced or they'll, um, and it shows like, you know, them lifting heavy things and it's well done. It's not cheesy. I, I was very impressed with it. I had not seen the series until I bought it. I know that growing up, my parents probably watched it and I know that probably a lot of you have heard of it, but I myself hadn't seen it. So it was kind of a going into it brand new thing and watching it. And I, I did enjoy it. My wife enjoyed it immensely. And so as far as the series goes, I definitely give it, it's a 9.1. If you ask why um, I'm not giving it higher than that, it's only because again, it is a lot of the covers and a lot of the things are in German. So I, I would have rathered it obviously in English. So it loses a little bit of score because of that. Um, but again, I'm thankful that it exists. A great set, it was well done with the original soundtrack, which I appreciated. Um, a lot of people complain saying some of the DVD sets that were released in America didn't have all the original songs. This has all the original songs, the original soundtrack, um, and that's a big thing. The DVD sets in America, they said they had, didn't, couldn't get the rights or didn't want to pay for the rights when they released it. It's all here. If you're a fan of Bionic Woman, Six Million Dollar Man, you're gonna want both sets together anyways. Uh, the episodes themselves, as they go along, there's a lot of two-parter episodes, which a lot of people hadn't heard of before. Uh, it was kind of in the 70s, a new thing that, oh, hey, you'd play one episode and then another show would come in. And that's where Bionic Woman and Six Million Dollar Man are very unique is those episodes intertwine with each other. So you might have one episode that's in the Bionic Woman set, and that's part one. And then part two is in the Six Million Dollar Man set or vice versa, it might be Six Million Dollar Man has the first part and then, so that's why I said to get the complete series, you're gonna want both of them. Uh, the second review, I'm gonna post a link down below here for you. That way you guys can actually find it to go to that and watch that next. That'll be about the Bionic Woman. But the Six Million Dollar set, 9.1, I would definitely suggest if you're gonna get it, uh, definitely order them together that we have the entire series. Um, other than that, any questions, comments, please let me know. I thank you for joining me again today here for another exciting review. I'm going to be doing Bionic Woman next. That'll be your next one you're going to see up here. That way you guys can get an idea of both sets as far as what the difference in quality is, um, what you're getting out of both sets. So that's why I said it's kind of hard not to do the reviews together. So that way you kind of get an idea that you're going to want both. So that way you get the whole series as you're going through. Again, please like, subscribe, and share. Um, I appreciate your time today and I hope you'll join me again. All of you have a blessed day and uh, I'll see you again soon.